Hello, hello, lovelies. Hello, happy new year. This is your weekly dose of light. This is a new series that I'm starting this year to bring you inspiration, of course, light language to activate you, to support you as we move through this journey this year. You know, each year brings through um, a different flavor of our journey, requiring us to step up to that next level or become our next self, I should put it that way. So for those of you who don't know me, first of all, welcome. My name is Abigail Mensa Bonsu. I am the founder of Moon Goddess Academy, which the Doors to the Academy is now open. And you can now jump into my two programs currently, Activate. Activate is my four-week transformational program that helps you to create your soul map for this year. And what that means is that our soul has a plan for us each year. Because each year we're becoming another version of ourselves. And there that comes with this growth, lessons, challenges, and blessings. And in the soul map, you get to see what that is, including the challenges and also the tools that you need in order to become that that part of yourself and also in order to break through the challenges. It is a powerful, powerful journey. Um, you can I actually invite you to click on the link below for Activate and read some of the testimonials from the past students. Some of the students have been doing this for, this will be their third year doing it. That's how good it is. And each year, you know, depending on what energy we're stepping into, that's the energy that we work in. And you you get to experience, you get to discover what that means for you uniquely. So no more sitting and guessing and trying to figure out how to manifest your desires, how to manifest your dreams. It's really about knowing what your soul is asking you to experience and getting in flow with that. And then the rest will just fall through. And then the second program is my Goddess Unleashed program. This is about coming home to you, beautiful goddess. <laughs> it is about unleashing your authentic archetype, who you truly are, coming home to yourself. This is a 12-month a program where, you know, we really dive in deep. Each month, we it's about self-mastery and also knowing yourself. So the four pillars of my business is know thyself, heal thyself, express thyself, and embody thyself. So you walk through the, these four major um, doorways throughout this journey, and it is life-changing as well. So I invite you <laughs> to step in. The doors are open to my temple. Step in, whichever calls to you. If you're, you know, if you're new to me and you're not really sure, you can start with the activate. The activate program is actually the beginning of Goddess Unleashed. So you actually get to work with the students in the uh, work with the students in the Goddess Unleashed for that four weeks before we go into deeper mentorship. So you can always start there. And then after that, if you would like to step into Goddess Unleashed, you just transfer right in there. Um, it is a beautiful journey. I love, love, love my clients. I love my students. I love the women who have the courage to say, I'm going to choose myself this year and I'm going to operate my life consciously in magic. I'm going to co-create this magic in my life this year because that is what happens when we come together and um, yeah, and we, we co-create, we become aware of what is being asked of us, what the universe, our soul is asking of us and how we can step into that next version of ourselves and who that next version of ourself is, right? You find that out also in Activate. So click on the link, read the testimonials, join in. I would love to welcome you in um, either or both <laughs> of the programs if you're being called to. And if you know anyone that you feel like these programs fit, please feel free to share this with them. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this week, 
you know, we're still in the energy of January. We're still in this new energy. And I don't know about you. I'm still in the place of simply listening and observing um, and opening up to simply receive instead of me being proactive about creating and setting intentions the intentions that I've written down are the ones that have come to me. And I think I've shared this process with, with you. If you've worked with me before, you know, this is what we do, right? Instead of us demanding from the universe, we tune in, right? We tune in to who we really are and what we're here to experience. And then we bring that out. That is where we create the intentions from. And it's a very different process. So that is kind of like where I've been um, and I've been curious about stepping into the, you know, like what what would it mean to be in that constant fifth dimensional energy? And as you know, since last year, we've been weaving in, you know, back and forth from fourth to to fifth, fourth to fifth to kind of help us to adjust to what it will feel like, what would it, it would be like to to operate in that higher frequency, right? So. That's kind of like how it's been going. And, you know, it's really cool to see all the different energies that come in to support us and how intense it's like we're going through major spikes. <laughs> and, you know, to be honest, it's like we're we're, st we're going to be still moving or working with that integration period where we step in and then we step out to take a breath and then we step in and eventually it's going to be longer and longer. And then we're going to be in that um, fifth dimensional energy um, continuously because we have assimilated um with that energy so i love it there's grace with that right so we're in that energy there and the last time i shared i did the goddess energy forecast i talked about slowing down you know to be honest january is not the time of the year to hit the road running and i think maybe the the title that it has that is the new year and also the program that we, we've received from society, we feel like we need to hit the road running on January 1st. To remind you, we're still in the winter. <laughs> we're still in the winter season. If you look outside, life is still sleeping. Life is still in dormant. The energy of life outside our window is operating in a deeper level, building a deeper fortitude so that when spring comes, it can spring forth powerfully. And that's where we're supposed to, that's what we're supposed to be doing at this time, really nourishing our internal world. And the funny thing is that, you know, we start this, this year in that new moon in Capricorn, right? And then we just like, we're really being asked to operate from the internal world. It's not time yet to be outwardly, unless you're being asked to do that. But even that is still that, that the flavor of tapping into the fire, you're working from the fire deep inside you. That is what is driving you, right? So I just wanted to speak that out. If you're feeling the pressure that you have to go, 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 because it's January, this is your... Um, this is your excuse. No, what is it? What is it called? Um, this is your permission slip. There we go. This is your permission slip to slow it down. Your body knows, your heart knows, your spirit knows. It's time for you to follow what your soul is asking you to do. When you follow your soul's plan, everything else will fall into place. Everything else falls into place when we are operating in alignment with our soul self, our soul's plan. And the sooner you do this, you realize that, oh, I should have. Why didn't I start doing this earlier? If you're listening to this week's daily dose of life, of light, <laughs> of light, you, this is a reminder for you to begin to follow your soul's plan. And if you're like, what is my soul's plan? Well, that's what Activate is for. And also God is Unleashed. So send me a message or click on that link and come join us and discover what that is for you. Perhaps this will be the year that you learn to follow the flow of your own soul, the rhythm of your own soul, the drumbeat of your own soul, dancing to the drumbeat of your own soul. 
Yeah. So with that said, let's go ahead and taking a deep breath in together into our hearts, into our bodies and out. Taking another deep breath in and out. <sighs> and imagine, see, sense of feel with your inhalation, a pillar of light coming down from the heart of the divine father above from heaven coming down and anchoring into your heart. And I want you to take a deep breath in here and out, allowing this light to root down and radiate through, throughout, throughout your body. And let's go ahead and take in another deep breath in. And this time, imagine another pillow of light coming up from the earth, from the center of the earth, from the heart of the Divine Mother, coming all the way up into our heart where it also anchors and joins that heavenly light, right? We are merging heaven and earth within ourselves. So taking a deep breath in here and out. And then lastly, let's go ahead and call in our higher selves into our heart. This is the third piece. <laughs> we have heaven, earth, and our own divinity through our higher self. So taking a deep breath in here and out. And we're going to do a couple of in-breath into our heart. So you see that ball of light that has the essence of heaven, earth, and your own divinity. And as you breathe in, imagine you're breathing that light from above and below into your heart to join into your divine light. And then as you exhale, imagine it is expanding throughout your body, radiating throughout your body, and then out, outside of your body, creating that beautiful, um, that beautiful shield around you. So let's go ahead and take in a deep breath in, inhaling heaven and earth into our heart. And then exhaling, it, allow this divine light to spread through your entire body and then let it come outside to create that bubble of light all around you. Let's do this one more time, heaven and earth, inhale. And this time hold it. And exhale slowly. Mokore ti ta sare ak oromo, ne tera soro koromo e ti nasea ak aromo. Make sure you go ahead and stay in your heart as you're receiving these light frequencies to support you this week. Nakare ek oro moye de nasia a oro moye dea. Nakare et oro moye dea. Share de kia koro moye dea. Te share kere 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 koro mea kia. Tara sa ak a oro moye dea nasi ak are de toro moye dea. Kare shoro koro 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 Meke a shoro Meke na sa ak ara soro Oro mo yedina Tara sa ak oro mo Ara sa ak oro mo in order for you to know what it is you want to experience in this life or even this year you need to tap into your inner vision you know that vision that has um seated deeply within you it is time for you to tap into that and operate from that place we ask that anything in the way of it be cleared on, created, deleted from all time, space, realities, now. Activating the inner vision now, the inner fire now. Taking a deep breath in as we bring through the master of light, the divine master who is here to mentor us this week. Mm. 
And this week we are working with none other but Mary Magdalene. And she brings in the sacred vessel. She says, you are the answer. Be guided to your purpose. You are the answer. Be guided to your purpose. Karum Oko Moritia. Tene Sere Oro Shia. And I, I, at this time, I see a light shining forth from your heart, pointing outward, leading you. This is how it can be all year long, leading you. Breathe into your heart. It's almost like a, what is it called? Like the a, a lighthouse. The lighthouse within your heart has been activated and the path in front of you has been illuminated. Taking a deep breath in and out. And of course, with these cards, we always start with who the goddess is or the ascended master is. And then we move into the message they have for us about Mary Magdalene. So Mary Magdalene or Mary of Magdala was one of the original followers of Jesus the Christ or Yeshua. It has been recorded that she had the first vision of the risen Christ when she went to his tomb on Easter morning. And it was through this vision that he revealed to her his sacred teaching and initiated her as the teacher. She was the apostle to the apostles. And it is therefore through her that a pivotal aspect of the original teachings of Christ has reached the world. Mary was a highly sensitive clairvoyant and it has been speculated that she was the partner, wife, divine consort of Yeshua. If Yeshua was the vehicle for Christ's energy, Mary was the vehicle for Mag Magdalene, a powerful feminine force that renders all beings equal and helps the world see that the voices of the feminine are not only important, but the sacred force that can save the world from ruin. Taking a deep breath in here. Here's her message to you this week. You are the answer you seek. You are the answer you seek. You hold the treasure, the magic, and the mystery. Right now, you are being encouraged to recognize that you are a valuable part of the universe's plan. If you have a strong desire to share what you have learned, it's time to do so. This can be scary and sometimes overwhelming because putting yourself out there can leave you open to screw, screw, scrutiny. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are comfortable with your gifts and teachings, you hold a sacred energy that allows others to see you clearly. The light of the Magdalene is surrounding you now. And encouraging you to recognize that the healing you have experienced is actually what you are here to teach. I'm going to repeat this again. It's very important. The light of the Magdalene is surrounding you now and encouraging you to recognize that the healing you have experienced is exactly what you are here to teach. Take some time to reflect on what you have overcome and see that this experience can help many. Your personal testimony can move others and even mountains. Lean on your creator and know that you are being called to be a vessel for the sacred. Receiving the light from the divine Magdalene now, Shorokoria, as she integrates her radiance into your heart. Poreshi, as your heart comes and 
moves or spreads that radiance throughout your entire body. Kore shiti nasa, activating your crystalline heart now. Show, 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 show. Moe di nasa, akaro moe di nasa. Te de sere kore ya shuro kore me kea te toro koro 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 show pori ya. Da sare ya kore shiti nasa, kere koe nasa. Tara koe shini ya mo oti ya se. Me kea shore ya arom et e nasa o orom o ya. Tara sa a orom. Te nasa a orom o ti shuru suru koa e kea. Share kea sotoro shu. Shuru poea. Shuru et ena sa ak ara. Shidia ak aroro. Shuru. 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 Taking a deep breath in here. Hold within your heart. And exhale slowly. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Magdalene, for stepping forward to mentor us this week. We are open and willing to receive any of your teachings, your guidance, and your blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, beloved goddess. Mm. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Mm. How do you feel? Send me a message or put, um, put a message in the comments below. How do you feel as you receive this? I am getting that this dose of light, <laughs> um, you it will still be working throughout the week. Um, it will work as long as you need it to or that your soul wants it to. Um, there's a healing involved, so be gentle with yourself. And as always, make sure that you drink plenty of water as you receive light language, your body needs the fluids or the water to distribute the light frequencies and the codes that you've just received. It makes it easier for your body to integrate the higher light frequencies. Beautiful, beautiful. If you enjoy the light language and you would love to receive your own unique light language to support you in your life, um, this is where my offer, the light prescription comes in. I'll put the link below. All you do, you step in, it's at a very low price. You step in, and then once you purchase it, it will take you to a form where you get, you tell me where in your life that you need support. I tune in into what is going on, what you need, and co create a light language prescription for you. So you get a unique light language that is just for you, that is honestly timeless. You can listen to it over and over. Every time you need a boost, you can come back to it and listen. It is gold. So if you need that support that is uniquely tailored for you, go ahead and check out the light prescription. I have it below. All right, my loves. <laughs> Thank you for receiving this week's dose of light. Again, I invite you to share this with your family, your friends, people who need it at this time so that they can also receive this blessing. And I am looking forward to bringing in more magic to you and more blessings to you this year. Until next time, from my heart to yours, have a fabulous week. Bye. <music>